called A Challenge to Life. Uh, this uh, Challenge to Life is something that I want to call to your attention because that is my reaction to uh, one of the worst defeats that I've ever had in my entire career. I bring it to your attention because it gives you an idea of how I go about transmuting an unpleasant circumstance into something useful. Now, when this circumstance happened, I had uh, real reason to go out and fight, and I don't mean fight mentally or orally, I mean fight physically. If I had to settle the, uh, the business from behind pine trees with six shooters, it would have been justified uh, under the circumstances. But instead of that, I elected to do something that would damage no one and that would benefit myself. I elected to uh, express myself through this essay, which says that, uh, a challenge to life, which says, life, uh, you can't sub subdue me because I refuse to take your discipline too seriously. When you try to hurt me, I laugh, and the laughter knows no pain. I appreciate your joys wherever I find them. Your sorrows neither discourage nor frighten me, for there is laughter in my soul. Uh, temporary defeat does not uh, make me sad. I simply set music to the words of defeat and turn it into a song. Uh, your tears are not for me. I like laughter much better. And because I like it, I use it as a substitute for grief and sorrow and pain and disappointment. <coughs> Life, uh, you are a fickle trickster. Don't deny it. You slipped uh, this emotion of love into my heart so that you might uh, use it as a thorn with which to prick my soul. But I learned to dodge your trap with laughter. You try to lure me with the desire for gold, but I have fooled you by following the trail which leads to knowledge instead. You induce me to build beautiful friendships, uh, then <clears throat> convert my friends into enemies so you may harden my heart, but I sidestep your fickleness by laughing off your attempt and selecting new friends in my own way. Uh, you cause men to cheat me at trade, so I will become distrustful, but I win again because I possess one precious asset which no man can steal. It is the power to think my own thoughts and to be myself. You threaten me with death, <clears throat> but to me death is nothing worse than a long, peaceful sleep. And sleep is the sweetest of human experiences, excepting laughter. Uh, you build a fire of hope in my heart, then sprinkle water on the flames. But I go you one better by rekindling the fire, and I laugh at you once more. Life, you are licked as far as I'm concerned, because you have nothing with which to lure me away from laughter, and you are powerless to scare me into submission to a life of laughter then, I raise my cup of cheer.